Welcome to another gripping episode of Boppo's Whiteboard. Today's topic will be a physics lesson. What is the relative heights of side swap throws? How much higher is a 7 than a 6? I searched for this on Wikipedia and on YouTube and couldn't easily find it, so I'm going to produce this video. This too is sort of a spin-off of my using side swaps for numbers juggling tutorial, which I am uh, in the progress of preparing, in the process of preparing. So, what are the relative heights? Here's how to calculate it. First, I have to define a term, which is the dwell ratio, and that's the fraction of time that a hand has a ball in it. Number has to be between 0 and 1. The height, then, is the site swap throw value minus 2 times the dwell ratio, quantity squared. The 2 is because we have two hands in the vanilla site swap. There's the, the dwell counts twice. And the square is because gravity is an acceleration. So distance is related to time squared. Um, and the reason that the dwell ratio deducts from the site swap throw value is because for whatever time a ball is in a hand, it doesn't have to be thrown up in the air to, to pass the time. And so more dwell makes the site swap throw look like it's, it doesn't have to be as high to take the time. Um, incidentally, because it's square, if you want to throw a ball so it takes twice as long to return, you have to throw it four times as high. Now, for most jugglers, typically the dwell ratio is right around a half, and actual measurements gave numbers between about 0.3 and 0.7. Um, for dwell of one half, the formula is particularly easy. In that case, it's just the site swap throw value minus one. That's 2d. Two times a half is one. Quantity squared. So, how much higher is a 7 than a 6? It's for a dwell of 1 half, it's 7 minus 1 squared over 6 minus 1 squared, which is 6 squared over 5 squared, which is 36 over 25, which is 1.44. That's the answer. In other words, it's about 44% higher. That's a dwell of a half. For a dwell of 1, it's 1.56, and dwell of 0, it's 1.36. So it's definitely between these numbers, and it's probably pretty close to that, or say one and a half, or something like that. How much higher is a nine than a five? Well, once again, for a dwell of one half, um, nine minus one squared over five minus one squared is eight squared over four squared, which is 64 over 16. Um, you can just, you know, cancel the sixes and get the answer of four. Actually, you can't, but it happens to work in this case. Um, the whole range is for dwell of 1 is 5.44 and for dwell of 0 it's 3.24. But 4 is, again, a reasonable value because dwell of a half is typical. Please notice that even though a site swap throw value of 9, the site swap value is 9, is less than twice as high as a 5, but the throw has to be 4 times as high in order to take the extra time, once again, thanks to gravity. That's it. Thanks for watching.